Hello everyone, welcome to Umam TV. Today we are very excited because this is a Mother's Day special episode and we have very stunning and inspirational actress with us, Divya Said Shah. Sushma Said and she is a proud mum of a lovely, lovely teenager. Hello ma'am. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for accepting our invite for this show. My pleasure. And we are very excited to talk about your journey entirely about your motherhood, about your acting career. So to begin with, did your inspiration start with your mom? Absolutely, no question. My mother is an actor and as you all know, her name is Sushma Seed and she's been on stage and in television and film and extremely prolific and in my home, we were all encouraged to do whatever made us happy and drove us to our bliss. And I never really wanted to be anything else because I used to watch her rehearse and do plays from the time I was an infant almost. Actually, she fell backstage with me when she was eight months pregnant with me. So all my friends say that that's what happened to my head. But uh, yes. To so a woman inspired a woman. Absolutely, no right. question. Right. I come from a family. In my, in my mother's family, all the women were very inspirational and they all just uh, supported and encouraged everyone to do whatever their heart was their into. Heart. This is so important which we, uh, which we don't get to see so much in our Indian families where the daughters are given that freedom to choose the career path which their heart is into. What's your take on it? Actually, I think uh, women really are encouraged. And it's the men who are not. They're forced to follow professions which their parents have chosen for them. Because uh, they're the ones who have to follow in the footsteps and keep the name and the flag flying. And uh, we actually uh, get a quieter corner to pursue what we want. But uh, of course the arts are not every family's cup of tea. But in my family, the arts were important. Did you sing? Did you dance? Did you act? Did you write? Nobody was interested in whether you got a top marks or whether you talked your class. And that pressure that comes along with it. None of that. The pressure was what if, what song have you sung this time? How sweet. Which play are you doing? Did you win that race? Are you playing this game? Did you watch that movie? What do you think about this situation? That's the kind of family I grew up in. And that's very important for all the parents watching to note that this is kind of the atmosphere you need to give to your children. Absolutely. To help them rise Absolutely. and grow. I think, uh, unfortunately, the fishbowl kind of academics that there are, not definitely in our country, but all over the world, uh, the education system is such that it puts you in a fishbowl and it makes you follow the herd, you know, to use uh, cliches. But apart from that, if, you, if you're too scared to pluck them out of that milieu, at least encourage their other... Uh, you know talents whether it's singing or dancing or writing or drumming and male or female if your son wants to dance please let him okay. if your girl wants to play a sport please let her this gender disqualification depending on passion is is just very last century true that true and Devaji, you have made a remarkable presence in theatre, in TV, Bollywood. Yay. So that's been all the flavour. How do you really feel? How this journey has been for you? I'm so grateful, so happy, so, so delighted that what I thought of when I was 13 and 14, that that's what I want to do, that's what I want to be, that culminated. And I was a working actor. You know, it's all very well to get the byproduct of glamour, or fame or people recognizing you but you're a working actor you wanted to be an actor and you worked and you continue to work that in itself believe me is success as far as I'm concerned so everything else is plus point that you recognize me or you appreciate my work or you say that I'm a good actor or a, you know that I still look great or whatever those are all byproducts but I'm a working actor from the age of 15 I have worked and I continue to work and continue to get work. Yes. So I am extremely delighted and grateful with that. And is there any area which you enjoy the most, theatres or TV or movies? Unfortunately, I haven't done theatre for a long time, at least 15 years. Is you planning to get back or something? I'd love to, but uh, the it, 
for me geographically now it's become a situation because the kind of plays that I need to do are in Bombay I need to rehearse in Bombay and I don't live there anymore so I have to commute to shoot as it is so to give six weeks of rehearsal and leave home becomes a little hard yes. so it's just purely logistics but I'm working around that this year so hopefully some sh some things should work out. Or maybe you could give our Punekas, you know, something, that initiative, that theatre thing started in Pune itself. No, I don't want to teach. Okay. I certainly don't want to teach. You know, it's, uh, for me, it's not a natural culmination. Okay. That, you know, you've been an actor, so now that you have some extra time, you will teach. Okay. It's not a culmination. And acting you, comes Teaching from needs to be, yes. teaching is a very specific talent. Right, right. So... Yeah. Uh, what I meant was uh, maybe someone taking an initiative to bring up the theatre life in Pune, just like we have there in is Mumbai. Apparently there is a lot of wonderful theatre, but it's in Marathi. Okay. And I speak English and Hindi, Hindi. but I don't speak Marathi. So um, I don't think I should step on their toes and pretend and deign to presume that I can do I'm that. I'm sure if you come to picture, <laughs> they all are gone. <laughs> And Divyaji, you are also a proud mom of a beautiful teenage daughter, yeah. she's Mihika. You uh, recently posted a beautiful pic about her yes. and there is a buzz in Tinsel Town that uh, you are soon going to launch your daughter as well. No, that's, that's rumours. I would love it if she did want to. She can do whatever she wants but it has to be her choice. Also, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a tough life. It's a lot of hard work. Yeah. Now we reap the benefits, you know. You yes. get you 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 know you get a little molly coddled and you, you can do glamorous things, but it's still hard work. Everyone that I know works hard every single day. We get up for someone like me, I have to get up at four thirty AM if I'm going to shoot in Bombay and yeah. I have to be in the car and out of here by seven AM and mm -hmm. I shoot the whole day. If there is no shoot the next day I return back at night, which is almost one AM. If there is, then I have to stay back. It's hard life. It's quite the days you're not working, you must work out, you must take care of your body, of your hair, of your skin. You must learn, must look, must observe. All the time it's on It's ongoing. Oh, it's yeah. ongoing. But that's the fun. Yes. That's the fun. That's what I tell my children, you know. That, uh, okay, fine, you'll have people taking care of you, but where's the fun? How are you going to experience things and have a life? That has to come with your hard work. It's fun. Working hard is great fun. True. And that, that's the whole essence of life. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And you're a very proud mom as I follow you on Facebook personally and I love your post about those little things you share <laughs> about your daughter. So how is the bonding? How do you really balance momhood and your career life? I'm a very tough mother, definitely as she tell you. Uh, I expect uh, discipline, I expect, expect a lot of uh, acknowledgement and gratitude and these are the things that uh, my grandmother and my mother expected of us that uh, please don't take it for granted you know this this love and this nurturing that you get do not take it for granted and my mother used to tell me that every relationship you must work at every day don't yes. take anyone or anything for granted because that's the easiest way to lose it then so for all the uh, for all the mothers out there, for all the fathers out there who are taking care of children, don't take them for granted. And I would certainly tell all the children, please don't take your parents for granted. No one in your life will love you more than them. No one. You will have different uh, qualities of love and relationships, but the kind of selfless and complete all-encompassing love, only your parents do. Yes. No one else. No one. no one else will cry if you're hurt or if you're in pain. True. Only your mother and father will. Oh, true. So true. Yeah. <laughs> and Kiraji, uh, also uh, in India, we are seeing that the time is changing. Most of mums, when they get their spaces or their children grow up, they are uh, stepping into business and career yes. life. Delighted there are so many that. mumpreneurs around. Yeah. So what's a say on it? Ah. I think it's every non-working woman's nightmare that there will be a day when the children and the home that she put all her energies into and all her life and youth into, youth primarily. And one day they will leave, they will make their own lives and then what about you? Where do you fit into that picture? Why would you want to keep calling them and saying when are you going to come home or you don't call me enough? No, right. no, it must that never be, 
it must no relationship must never be ever be needy make sure that your motherhood is never needy i mean wow. it's delightful if they're around and they want to be with you i'm i'm blessed my girls say um where are you going on holiday we want to come with you so i feel wonderful about that that they still think we're fun enough and they would rather you know holiday with us because they know it'll be a wonderful experience but i i i get angry when i hear friends or other women say i don't know what to do with myself my children have left and the husband comes home late at night and i don't know what to do so i shop so i you know get into depression the kitties and yeah why are you even in that space don't ever put yourself in that space so i think women need to be encouraged in homes by parents by if they get married early and going going to their husbands homes by their mother in laws and father in laws because this support system is very necessary without that anybody if they tell you that they can work and work successfully is not telling you the truth True. i need my mother i need my mother in law if i have to leave my child and go to work there are going to be days when my child will be sick when my child will need something when school work will need to be done whatever yeah, whatever it could be just anything a parent needs to be around and if it's not me or my husband then it's my mother and my mother in law and there are aunts and there is a, you know the support system is very necessary for working women and right. apart from staff but staff comes and goes so you must the family have family support system you must you must and i'm very glad women are realizing that before it's too late they should start thinking of themselves and you must love yourself there is no guilt and there is no shame in that if you don't love yourself how will you ever love anyone else i love myself the most and because i love myself the most i am able to teach my child about love If you don't love yourself then and how that's do what you do reciprocate. That? Yes, yes. yes. Hey, If you're God. feeling uh, rotten about yourself or you're not confident about yourself, how will you teach your child to love herself and be confident? They don't listen. They watch. Watch. I used to watch my parents. I don't know if I heard them at all, but whatever I saw is what I learned and realized okay. these are the things that i need to inculcate in my life right that's three i i'm just well more you know she's <laughs> she's so inspirational in every way and this whole chat is so eye opening for me as well as a mom as a daughter definitely yeah, <laughs> yeah it's and the way we are seeing a lot of social loneliness mental health wise in the moms when their children move on on their yeah. journey and as you rightly mentioned there is a gap emptiness and so which are the ways they can deal with as per you i'm really not well equipped to talk about that but I, I as a mom or as a career mom okay as a woman as a woman as a woman yeah. as a woman yeah. who's as a as, as somebody who's worked all her life ever since i was a teenager i've been working i think like i said talked about self love the same thing goes applies there you must do things that make you happy you must there is such a big unhappy world out there there are people and animals who are so needy and right now our environment is so needy it's crying out for your attention for your help apne basti mein jaiye apni colony mein jaiye group banaiye safai karwaiye teach your uh, maid servants and your staff and the children around you how to be clean how to keep things clean make sure they learn that what we are learning through social media and through awareness campaigns how plastic is you know uh, destructive to our environment Correct. Yeah. be kind to animals get out hamare society mein hamare uh, city mein jo और बींग्स रहते हैं जो और स्पीसीज रहते हैं हमारी जिम्मेदारी है टू टेक केयर ऑफ देम वेदर इट्स द बर्ड्स वेदर इट्स द डॉग्स वेदर इट्स द कैट्स वेदर इट्स कैटल दैट यू सी ऑन द रोड ऑल दिस ऑल दिस इज आवर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी डोंट क्लोज योर आईज एंड वेयर ब्लिंकर्स टू थिंग्स एंड द मिनट यू गेट इन्वॉल्व विद ऑल दिस यू विल नेवर बी डिप्रेस्ड यू विल रियलाइज दैट योर डे कैन बी सो फिल्ड यू हैव प्लांट्स एंड यू हैव एनिमल्स एंड देर आर इज द एनवायरमेंट एंड देर इज So, so much, much to make to you happy true don't sit in that dark four walls and feel sorry for yourself because no one can teach you how to be happy 
except you yourself. Totally, no one totally can agree. teach you. And no one can make you happy. Only you can make yourself happy. At least you can start with that. Yes, yes, yes. 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 How important is that to note that whatever makes you happy, you need to take that first step and then things will fall in place. Thank you. And which is that inspirational message you would like to give across to our moms watching you? I think the women of this country are poised. If we haven't already taken off, we are poised for takeoff. And what is very necessary to remember is that we cannot leave anyone behind and we mustn't go so far away that nobody's with us either. Be empathetic to people you live with, to people around you, to the environment. And everything will come together on its own. It does, it's not confusing, it's not complicated. Start with only your home. Make sure your home is safe. Make sure your home is clean. Make sure your home is kind. And the minute you do that, the energy patterns open up and everything starts working well. There are no problems. Nobody's falling sick. Nobody's getting hurt because that's what you're encouraging. And that's the energies that are coming into your home because you are being empathetic. You are being kind. By that, I don't mean don't be firm and don't stand your ground. Please do. I'm very aggressive. <laughs> Don't even ask my family how aggressive I am. But I'm also empathetic. I'm, I also want to be kind. And that's where it begins. It really does. So go out there and get the world. But also remember that there is a world around you which needs your attention, especially the environment and animals. And you have to give them that attention. Apne ghar ke baar pani ka bol rakhiye. अपने पेड़ों पे पानी के बोल्स रखिए फिर चिड़िया भी आएगी और डॉगीज और कैट्स भी आएंगे एंड योर होम विल बिकम दिस दिस परफ एयर फॉर लव एंड फॉर सेफ हाउस ऑल द डॉग्स कम बाय ऑन माय गेट दे ऑल ड्रिंक वाटर एंड गो ऑल ऑफ ऑल देयर वॉकर्स टेल देम दे कीप ड्रैगिंग अस टू योर गेट आई सेड या बिकॉज़ देयर इज वाटर आउटसाइड दे नो देयर विल ऑलवेज बी वाटर हियर the two big big bowls of water outside there are about 10 bowls for the birds so all day there are birds in the garden Chirping, yeah. and that's the only sound wow. we get to hear so uh, if i don't keep water they won't come so it has to come from us how beautiful it has to come from us i'm going to start practicing that for sure and your children will see that yes and they will do that they will see your kindness they will see your concern and they will see how you treat other people other things especially those who can't do anything for you in return those who don't have a voice and they will take it upon themselves to do just that they will make sure they wrap that extra slice of bread ki doggy ko khila denge they will make sure that food is not wasted in a restaurant they will say please pack it and give it to me right. i will give it to somebody right. they will learn with that they will watch you and learn aur wo bahut zaruri hai bahut bahut zaruri hai we are in a very critical situation yes right now you know socially environmentally aur us pe dhyan dena bahut zaruri hai bahut zaruri hai true what a inspirational and beautiful message by divya ji and so realistic that we need to practice empathy in every way we can what we sow we reap if you reap if you sow love you'll reap love thank you divya ji for this wonderful interview and sharing My your pleasure. journey with us and happy mothers day oh yes <laughs> thank you Stay tuned with Mom TV for more powerful stories.